Hello guys, Julian OH8STN here. This is a short tutorial on using the WinLink Express Forms template to check in to your WinLink Wednesday Net. I'll keep it short and to the point, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we'll do is copy the call sign from the net we'd like to check into. For this training video, we'll go ahead and grab the call sign for the Great Lakes WinLink Net. We're going to paste that call sign into the to field of a new email message. Then we're going to look at the top of the form and choose select template. We're going to double click on standard forms and then general forms and double click on WinLink check-in. This is going to open your browser window with an HTML form for you to fill out. All of the information you fill into this form will automatically be populated into your outgoing message. When NetControl sees these messages, there'll be a level of uniformity which makes it easier to collate the information contained in the email. But first, we're going to go ahead and insert the date. Next, we're going to decide whether this is a real exercise, a training scenario, a net, or what type of status this message requires. Next, we'll fill in the band we use to send this message back to Net Control. Then we'll fill in the mode used to get the message there. Now we're going to populate the send to field with the call sign of the Net Control operator for the net you want to send to. Next, you fill out your call sign. Since I was operating portable, it's OH8STN stroke P. And the next box, I populate my actual call sign, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November. If another operator were sending this message for you, their call sign would be populated in this field. And the next box, it's called location. We're going to enter the physical location where we are. For the sake of this training video, I'll just include my general location. Next is the GPS coordinates. If you've configured WinLink Express to utilize your GPS, your coordinates will be auto-filled for you. Finally, we have the comments field at the bottom of the form. We can utilize the comments field to enter relevant context or information about your check-in. Each net control operator has different requirements or asks you different questions or tells you how to fill in the comments field of these forms. So be certain you read and understand the announcement for the WinLink net before you start typing away filling out this form. Now the very last thing I like to do is actually save the form data so that I can use it again. This is incredibly useful in a situation like the one in this video, where I'm actually participating in several WinLink nets with various net control operators. After you've saved your form, go ahead and click Submit. You'll get a pop-up message saying go ahead and close this window. Then you'll miraculously find the email message you were compiling filled with all the relevant information from the form you just filled out. Now in the drop-down box at the top of the message, you have to select the message type. If you're going to connect to the WinLink net as peer-to-peer, -peer, as radio only, or as a normal WinLink message, go ahead and select that. Now double check the contents of your message and then go ahead and save it to the out box. Now you're ready to start your WinLink session. We must keep in mind the point of these WinLink nets is to give us valuable experience connecting to these WinLink stations over RF. The reason we avoid using Telnet to send our check-ins is it's not quite the same as RF. What I mean to say is we don't get the changing band conditions, we're not affected by QRM, and we don't have a chance or opportunity to set up using our actual gear. When we're not dependent on the internet to send these check-ins, it's as close to real life as we're going to get. 
And let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys, rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.